You know, it's hard to recognize when something historic is happening. But you all know, I think, that you're part of a great turning, a fundamental shift in the way that we live on this planet. Part of what's driving it is rising oil prices and peak oil. Part of it is our health that's being impacted by pollution. And part of it is a growing awareness of a new environmental understanding. In 2008, the annual World Wind Energy Conference was held at a community college in a small Canadian city. For four days, St. Lawrence College in Kingston, Ontario was a gathering place for world experts, civic leaders, and ordinary citizens interested in discussing the choices we face concerning our future on this planet. I think what really matters here is that we are trying to make a better society through the use of renewable energy. We are trying to create a better world not just for our own local communities, which is important, but also for present and future generations. Yes, meeting of the minds that are getting together and realizing that uh, the footprint that we can lay here together for our country and world, that's what this is about. Same old, same old. Coal, nuclear, natural gas, that's going to continue us down the road of degradation, environmental degradation, ill health in our children, in our schools, deterioration of our climate. We just can't go down that road anymore. So all of this talk in the industrialized world of growth and more and more is just saying we've got to hurry what is a suicidal path. When I say this to politicians and business people, they get very, very angry with me. How dare you say that? Look at our stores, they're filled with stuff. We're living longer, we're healthier. I say it without apology. We are creating the illusion that everything's all right because we are using up the rightful legacy of our children and grandchildren. 